Right, put down whatever it is you're doing, put it to one side, make yourself a drink, put your feet up, because it's time for the craft show. Mm. Welcome and thank you for joining us here again for another fantastic episode of The Craft Show. As always, don't forget, The Craft Show is only available online, which is a great thing because it means you can watch it wherever you want to watch it, uh, from anywhere in the world, when you're ready, any time of the day, almost anywhere, watch it on your laptop, watch it on your iPad, watch it on your smart TV, whatever. But whatever you do, please, please remember to hit subscribe. That's really important. And also, please spread the word on Facebook as well. And remember to hit the like button on Facebook too. And we're available everywhere now because we're available on Instagram, we're available on Blogger, we're available on Twitter, we're available on YouTube, we're available on Facebook. All right, enough of that. It's time to introduce our guest. And she's a bit more than the guest, she's a bit more like royalty these days. She needs no introduction, really. It's her, isn't it? It's Alison, how are you Hello, doing? I'm all right, how are you? I'm very well, thank Good. you, I'm very well. Do you like my blue shirt? I've got I a blue do. shirt on yeah. today. Yeah, it's very nice. Brings out, the, brings out my eyes. It does, definitely. I tried a yellow one, but it brought out my jaundice. <laughs> And the green one brings out the envy, so we won't go there. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't. Um, so, of course, uh, Alison, for anybody that hasn't seen you before, where have you been? Some In the dark ages somewhere. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Uh, I'm the owner of the Craft Centre here in Bourne. Mm -hmm. um, I, my craft is needle felting, mm -hmm. predominantly. I do a bit of wet felting, which is what we're going to do today. Yeah. Um, but I do other. I, I dabble. Yeah. Like you do. You do? Yeah, and you do, do a bit of do drawing as well. I've seen a few. She's kind of a crafty drawer. Yeah, I like her. Is that her I've done for a little while. We'll see some at some point. Yeah. I'm hoping for a portrait. Okay. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to be doing a demonstration today. I we can't are. help noticing. Yeah. Uh, was that ice in Don't there? Don't stick and it's your melted? hand in that one at the minute. Oh, that's a hot it's, one. It's still it? quite hot. And yeah. then we've got this. It it, I'm intrigued. Hot. Tell okay. me what we're going to be doing. We are going to today. Felt some soaps. Felt some soaps. That's quite a good idea, actually, isn't it? That's quite a good idea. They are pretty good. Yeah, that is good. Pretty cool. Yeah, they so are. I know the benefit, but tell everybody the benefit at home to needle felting a soap. Uh, well, it's wet felted. Yes. So um, wrapped in wool. Mm -hmm. The the benefit is is that you have um, soap and flannel all in one. I love it. Yeah. That's a great idea, and so, not just good for doing for yourself. No. Doing as gifts. Yep. Because then if you've been looking, look at these. Yeah. Look what she's great been gifts. up to. Yeah. That's really nice. And then you've you've wrapped those in yeah. what's that string there? Bit of bit of twine, yeah, bit of twine, twine. and a, a little, little tag. label on there. Nice gift. Beautiful gift. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And you have a bit of fun receiving it. Yeah. You have a bit of fun making it. Yeah. You have a bit of fun washing with it. You do. And yes. that's not usually very exciting. And then and then you not be smelly. So what we I've got I've put yeah. <laughs> I've I've put together a little kit there at the end. This one. So if you want to have a go at this, these will be on the website. Got all the bits in it. Yeah, there's all the bits in there. There will be three. There's soap in there as well. Yeah. Of course there is. Uh, you need that. I in in the kit will be uh, one oh. of my own. Yeah, one yeah. of my own soaps. So yeah. I I I make these soaps. I don't make the soap base, but I melt it down. Yeah, yeah. Put the essential oils in. Yeah. Um, Three different fragrances in okay. there. There's um, all in there. Yeah, it's all in there. And you've done Netting. that for us? Yeah. That's good. Because we don't sell anything here on the craft show. But Alison, of course, lends us her space. Uh, she is royalty, really. She's like a royal landlady. She's like an ambassador, mm -hmm. craft show ambassador. Mm -hmm. And uh, and sometimes what happens is we make these things and you get people, we tell them where to get the stuff and what to get. But sometimes people just want to give it a go. So Alison's very kindly put that yep. together. Yes. So if you want to so get one, have a go. Yep. So what do we need to do? How do we get started? Okay, so first of all, you need a soap. Now I've, I've, I've just bought these ones today. Okay. They're, yeah. they're just a... a a boots own one. Just a boots own, yeah. yeah okay. um, which is what this one is. It's yeah. just a, it's just a store bought one. Yeah. This is one of the ones that I make. Okay. Um, but I thought we'd do this and yeah. then to show how to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can get so, soap pretty cheap, presumably. You can. 
all the major supermarkets, yeah. discounters, cheapy shops. Yeah, anything. Tat shops, whatever. Yeah, you these, yeah. these were, they weren't expensive. No, so okay. They're perfect for having a go. Yeah. So what you do is, is you wrap the soap in the wool. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about the different sorts of wool. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a carded bat. So yeah. we've used this sort of thing before in the needle felting. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. It's 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 one of the ones that I had in my stash. You know, it's yeah. like I have a stash of all sorts of things. And she has. I have. Well, you, you're I'm, all the same. I've got all stuff your everywhere. crafters are th the same. They've all got a crafty stash somewhere. Yeah. All of you, and you know who you are. Yeah. You know who you are. So I found this the other day, and yeah. I had a go with it, and I thought I'll I'll, have, I'll give it a go to mm -hmm. see if it works. And I've used it on this soap, and it works brilliantly. Okay. So this yeah. is. I only have. I have quite a, a, a bit, yes. but not an endless supply. I don't no, know no. where it's from or what okay. it is. This is the one we that I'm ask. going to put in the There's kits. There's a bit of tarmac on this one. I yeah. fall off the back of a lorry. <laughs> I'm going to put this one in the kits. So the first lot of kits that I do, okay. this is the one that's in because okay. it wet felted really nicely. Okay. So um, you, we're going to wrap this around the soap. Around the soap. Yeah. Put it inside the netting to stop it all moving about when we dunk it in the water. Okay. Um, and then you rub it as as you would if you were going to use a soap. Yes. Uh, and then the wool will shrink around the outside of the soap, encasing it. Oh, and then okay. as you use it, yes. the suds will come through, yes. make a nice leather, yeah. and the, the, the wool will shrink down. Oh, that's a great to, idea. To and this is a natural product, of course. It is. It's wool. Is, is this completely natural, this? It is. So there's no man-made fibres or anything else. It's, it, you can't get much better than yeah. that. Yeah, and it, if, if you want to get a bit technical, yeah. wool is natural wool is antimicrobial, right. antifungal, yeah. and antibacterial. So it it's... So you're getting not just getting clean from the soap. Yeah. You 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 know you're getting clean from the wall. Yeah, really. It won't, it won't. It won't sort of go. Okay. So how quickly does that shrink around? That is it fairly quick then? Yeah, fairly quick. Yeah. So let's get started. Right, right. Okay. You've got a piece of there, a piece of wall in front of you. Yep. And as have I. Now this one is obviously quite natural. Yep. So it's got some little bits in. We're going to split this. Um, hmm, thickness wise, I don't know. What's that? So we're gonna know, we're gonna in split half. it into layer. Yeah, we're gonna layer it. Okay. Uh, Do I? I've pulled that one in half. Yep. Is that right? Yours is better than mine. I've got it now. Yeah. We don't need it, right? <laughs> yeah. You do. That. You do. Okay, so that's about halfway through. If you've through. got any any bits in it, take them out. Okay. Just put them to one side. Right. So we're gonna work with one piece at the moment. Now, when you I'll get put that to one side, then. your when you get if you buy a pack, yep. uh, you'll get this soap in. Alex, the the instructions will be in it because yeah. we do. That's the top. Yeah. The, the narrower parts the top. That's the bottom. Okay. And de, uh, th this is wrapped in a particular way, so okay. I wrap it um, up to the top first and then underneath. Okay. We won't do that with this one. It's not quite so important, although no. it's slightly shaped. So okay. So we, I've we got my soap. Um, so base down. Yeah. Um, topmost up. And we're going to um, bring the uh, outside edges, mm -hmm. move it slightly to one side because we'll probably want to take some of this off because it's going to be a little bit long. So we're just going to draw the edges up okay. and into the middle. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you can see that at home. That's, do I want that's it. Let me just grab that. That's it, yeah. I've got quite a bit of excess on this side. So I'm just going to pull that up like that and just hold it gently and just take that little bit of excess off because you want it to sort of join in the middle but then not to be a huge big bunch. Oh, I think I know what you mean. Try not to get it. You want to pull it round, Ben, so that it's quite snug on the soap. Yeah. And so that you haven't got any creases in it. So you don't want to... That's not easy to do, actually. It's, it? it's a bit fiddly. It takes a bit of a skill. You don't want to fold it. Can you see how I folded that there? And yeah, there's like a folded yeah, edge. You yeah. don't want to do that. You want it you to be wanna... invisible, don't you, really? And you want it to be... Um... Do you think I could... Should I do... If I had a bit... Because mine's a bit thicker than yours. Do you think I need a bit less? Or would you... Mm. you think, should Let's I swap them the same? Well, that's a bit, that might be a bit better. Okay, that yeah, one. Let me start try with that one. one then. So nice and tight, but without pulling the fibres apart. Yeah. 
Okay. It is. It is a. It's. It's a bit of a fiddle, and I've got uh, mine's a bit thin this side here. Yeah. Um, because I've, in actual fact, I'm going to just put that to one side, and I'm going to use your thick bit, and then I okay. can just. So we're just going to. You're like my wife with chips. You are. I don't want any chips. Oh, I'll have a and then as soon yours. as mine are there. Can I have one? Can I have one of your chips? No, you can't. <laughs> I don't know whether I've got a bit too. Can I now? Because I think I might have a bit too much. Can I pull a little bit off? Yes. So yeah. just put a little bit off. So top. if you can see, as I'm going, I'm I'm taking it off as I go around. So it wants to come over, take that edge bit off. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So can you see? It's it's all folded over. If you've still got a bit of a bit of a bunch at the top, just pull it off so that you've got okay. a fairly even layer, even on the top part. Okay. I'm a bit thin down that side. Yeah, you, you've you've. You probably just have I moved the soap. Yeah, a bit. maybe. So or should I spin it that way? Actually, I think it might, might be better. Yeah. Look. Yeah. There we go. So it just wants to come to the middle, really, Ben. So. I'm all fingers like and that. thumbs. And then sort of bunch into the middle. And if you if you've bunched, see, you've got a great big load there. That's so we'll it. just take uh, that bit too off. Too much. Okay. But that's the beauty of it. But start off with too much. Yeah. And then, and then, you then reduce can, it. Okay. Yeah. So I've got my little parcel. So I've flipped mine over. So that open side is is underneath now. Okay. And then we're going to take another layer, probably. We're probably going to want it a little bit thinner this time. You can do it a number of ways. You can wrap it round. Um, it doesn't matter so long as it, so long as it's encased mm -hmm. and covered, and you haven't got any gaps okay. um, necessarily. I ain't got um, any more. You pinched it. Yeah, I'll give you another piece of this one. We'll share this bit. Come on, share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. So there we are. All right. So now place your soap with the open part mm -hmm. underneath. And do the same again the opposite way? Do the same again the opposite way. Oh, okay. So this will be the underneath of your soap now. So if you've... So, not that it matters because you won't see the joints, but I, I suppose it's just been a bit finicky. But you've got plenty of wool on here now, haven't yes. you? Yes, yeah. So long as you have got no gaps... Uh, I did one the other day, and I, I used a different type of one, and it didn't work out quite so well for me because it it didn't it didn't come together quite so well. This one worked really nicely. Can you see how that is? It's it's, it's quite. I'm just going to stick my finger in this water. It's still quite hot. Um, it's quite. It's quite snug. Fairly thick, but not too much. If you put too much on, you're going to end up with um, it being quite a, 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 a fiddle, getting it to felt down. I'm having a bit of a job of mine here. Can you just, because do you know what? I need to show some pictures quickly. Okay. Can you, because oh. I'm struggling a bit with mine. It's just oh. a bit fiddly. I'm all fingers, I've got sausage fingers. <laughs> you know how they said to Elton John, you know, when he was young, you're Fingers are too short and stubby to play the piano. Yeah. But he wowed them anyway. Proved them wrong. My fingers are too short and stubby to play the piano. Yeah. And I can't. <laughs> You've done a great job. That's I've, all right. I, all I've done is just just have a little bit of a. <laughs> so we've wrapped our soap in wool. Yeah. Okay. Now just before we go into the next step, very quickly. Yeah. Because um, we always show a couple of pictures. If you want to, if you've got any crafty creations, send them in. Whether it's uh, you know needle felted uh, soaps or cards or. 3D pen creations or jewellery or whatever it is, we'd, we'd like to, we'd like to see it. And um, uh, we have a beautiful card sent in, posted on the Facebook page by Jamie J Jordan, and he's done this lovely Leah birthday card. Oh, nice. I don't know if you can tell, it looks like it's leather, but it's not. It's, it's our card. and it's like a shaker style card. Uh, That's yes, really I like nice. Those. Yeah, really like that. I like that. And also, we were sent in by Judith Mutters some phone cases. Um, or uh, or glasses cases, they can be used as either yeah. that she's made. Look, she's got those on the stand. So you just get those and, oh, what's that? Lazy Maisy Designs on there. So she sent those in and actually she was at a craft show recently and she says a little picture of her setting up at the craft oh, show nice. yeah. at Selby Abbey Craft Fair. So thank you for that, Judith. Where is Selby Abbey? Do you know? 
it's so big. That's Yorkshire. It's Yorkshire. 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 Yeah, Yorkshire. I could do some whippet jokes here, <laughs> but they're they're probably a bit sick of that. <laughs> So I won't. No. Right, okay. So we've wrapped our... Um, oh, this is a sign that things are going to get messy. Yeah, possibly. So I get me gauze. Yeah. Is it gauze? Uh, yeah, it's netting. Netting. Gauze. Yeah, it's like tutu netting. Um, now you can decorate the top of your soaps with anything. Okay. You can even needle felt into them. I, it's a bit of a fiddle. Is to it? be fair, I prefer to do this, and I like the I like the effect it gives with the the different coloured fibres. Yeah, I like that. So I've got lots of different um, bundles of fibres down the end there. Yeah. Uh, with bits of sparkle or silks or whatever in. Um, uh, this one that I did the other day has um, some of these lovely. Oh, curly I love locks. those. So yeah. I just took yeah. one of those off, just peeled that off like that. Look at those! I love the natural laid it on the top. Yeah, me too. So shall I do mine with one of those yeah, then? Yeah, do yours with one okay. of those then. And I'll give you a piece of this. Now this is just one of the, the, the blended fibres. Okay. We're just going to take, there'll be a little bundle in the in the pack if, if you get a pack yeah. um, of three different colours so to, be ready to correspond go. to your soap. Yeah, just take a, um, a piece off like that. Okay. And lay it on top of your soap. I'll lay it on mine and then I can sh sh I'll pass it over to Ben. So just lay it on top like that. You can a bit of an angle I don't know. you can do whatever you like so just lay it on mm -hmm. the top of your soap yeah. like so okay so that's just for you on. then and I'll take one of these pretty curly curls over here okay so now nice um before um we do the dunking yeah and before you use all that lovely hot water there's yeah. something else we could use that hot water for <laughs> And I think you know Who's what it is. Who's going to be using it, me or Steve? <laughs> well, actually, I've got Henry in today. Henry's my little one. Excellent. Henry. Henry! Does, does he make a decent brew? Henry! This is my little one. Come round here, mate. That's it. Don't trip over anything. <laughs> I'm Henry the Eighth. I am Henry. Now then, mate. See that thing over there? That's a kettle. Yeah? Let's get a crafty brew while you watch this. Hello, my name's Daphne. I'm from Beautiful Designs by Katie, and I'm going to show you a few ideas on how to use crafts to make your jewellery look a little bit different or to suit the person that you're making it for. Okay, so to start with, I'm just going to show you the bracelet here, which is made with an S clasp. So with the S clasp, you can make the jewellery a feature. You can wear it on the top of your wrist, or you can wear the beads on your top of your wrist to make that look a little bit different. You can see some other examples here where we have a bracelet. This bracelet is amethyst. It's made with a very, very pretty glass that is magnetic. And you, again, you can use that as a feature or you can use the amethyst beads on the top of your wrist. Okay, and, and here we've got uh, the S class, which is on the necklace, so you can see that as a feature as well. So here's a few different ones. Um, you might like to see something very, very ornate, like the little bow class there, you could use that as a feature. There's another two here that you could use as features. Or you can use the rather bigger one, which is that one. Um, or you could go down to the very, very tiny, ordinary little um, lobster class, which is that one. And then there's an, a couple of more little magnetic ones that you like to use there. So you could use those all as features to make your jewellery look a little bit different. We've got some different colours here, the rose gold the gold colour and the silver and they come for macrame, kumihimo um, and your ordinary jewellery making with um, be uh, beading thread or wire. So then I'd just like to show you a few different types of cord that we use with the macrame. So it's the macrame board, some of you might be familiar with that. Um, and a few different cords that we can use to make that a little bit different for instance is suede. So we've got some suede, all types of different colours. And we've got some wax cord, if you want something a little bit thinner, so you can use wax cord again, all different colours. Um, we've got some thicker, which 
tooth a little bit more uh, thicker and that will come out as a thicker bracelet um, and some sparkly there we go. and some thinner sparkly so lots and lots of different ways to make your jewellery look different you can add beads not add beads you can make thicker bands like friendship bracelets or you can make thinner ones entirely up to you to make things look different and those are the crafts that goes with them so thank you very much for um, having a look I hope that helps you and gives you a bit of inspiration I'm Daphne from Beautiful Designs by Katie bye Nice brew, yeah. Alison. He's, nice brew. He's not bad at it. He's not done a bad job. No, he's not. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Steve, you fired. <laughs> he never made them anyway. No, no, he never <laughs> makes them, does he? Hang on, let me see. <laughs> right, okay. Time to move on. So, we're doing these needle felted soaps, Alison Bunning from the Craft Centre in Bourne. Wet felted. Born. Wet felted. Wet felted. Yeah. I beg your pardon. No, I said no, needle no, felted. No, no, no needle felted today. Um, and so, what we've done is we've got our standard bar of soap. Yeah. We have. We've wrapped it. Once from the bottom up, yes, in in wool, mm -hmm. flipped it over, yeah, and done the same again, yes. So the opening is on both sides, yes. And then we flipped it over, yeah, and we've given mine a um, expensive footballer's haircut <laughs> string, <laughs> yeah. and we put it on this gauze. So um, what do we do now? Mine's got a little curl. You've got a on curly one. one. So flip the shell. Um, flip it over. Okay, flip it over, so that your um, the opening's uppermost, yeah, onto your net, yeah. and. Until this net has given up, uh, um, softened up a little bit, yes. it's it's a little bit stiff. Okay. Once we've dunked it in here and you've used it a few times, it, yeah. it, it softens up. So we're just going to fold it over. Do you so want to be really tight or not? Initially, it doesn't matter. It, okay. it, it wants to be It wants to be reasonably snug. Okay. But we're going to take it out periodically. Oh, okay. Uh, and just make sure it's not creased or crinkled. Okay. And it... Again, it doesn't matter how it is. Okay, so I've just wrapped mine round. Wrap that round. Yeah. Okay. So is this going to stay then? Will it stay closed? Uh, no, you'll have to hold it. Oh, okay. So if you let go of it, the, do I need to wrong the sleeve up? Yeah, a little bit. But you've only got to dunk it in. Da, 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 so uh, I'm going to dunk da, mine da, in in front of the camera da, first, and then I'll move da, it over da, to you. Da, da, so da, I'm going to dunk it in the da, water. Da, you you da, might see. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Are these both the same? No, that's cold. Don't stick it oh, in that one yet. No, right. no. Cold, co cold comes later. Yeah, all right. Hold your horses. <laughs> that's my phrase. So dick, d dunk it in the hot water. Okay. So how hot is that? As hot as you can put your hand in. Oh, okay. Really. Right. Um, so not boiling. No. Not scalding. No, please don't do that. As as hot as you can comfortably as hot as do you'd it. Wash, yeah. 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 A bit hotter There's than. No you'd point wash saying hot. as hot as you wash your hands. No. Henry washes his hands in cold water all <laughs> the time. Does he wash his hands? Yeah. He's quite good at washing his hands. I'll so, get him doing this and then he won't have to bother. No. <laughs> so I've dunked it in the water. Okay. What we're going to do is, to start with, just squish it. Okay. That'll, now we've dunked it in the warm water, the soap, soap will, start, will be starting to soften up. Okay. And as we squish, can you see it's I already it, lathering yeah. through? It is. Look okay. at that. So we're just going to squish for now yeah. because we don't want to move the fibres around that we've spent all that time wrapping. No. Okay. So all that lather, I'm going to have to start the do 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 <laughs> do 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 again. That's really lathery, isn't it? So you can give it another dunk to take some of the soap away. Um, and then I'll pass it over to you in a sec. Now, once you've done this a couple of times, yeah. just gently unwrap your soap. Mm hmm uh, try and wrap it so that the face parts down, so okay. that your pretty parts down. Yeah. Now, can you see how I've got a bit of a crease here? Yeah. And a little bit of a crease there. Yeah. I'm just going to gently sort of massage massage it those out of the way, because the last thing you want to do is get a crease in it. When you when you are actually washing with it. Yeah. Uh, um, do you find that it goes creasy or once you've sort of set it it keeps the shape yeah, it, really. it, it won't once it's properly felted like this one that that won't change now even as the soap goes down you just end up with the felted shape the soap shell shaped felted shell yeah try saying that so that one about. won't so now that one's properly felted you can really really give oh, that I love a, it a oh, do you know what? I really like these I really like these so give that a bit of a massage yeah. 
wrap it up again still not ridiculously tight no. so just snug enough so that it's holding it yeah a bit wrap it round yeah dunk it in and then i'll let you i'll pass that over to you while i give this a bit more of a That's squish good. so all we, we're gonna just continue sort of squishing and you'll feel you'll so feel just it leave change. it in there to start with yeah because you can see some little bubbles coming up that's yeah. where the water's um okay and then wait where the soaking the water up. yeah just until it's softened the soap up bubbly. slightly like a jacuzzi yeah so just keep gently moving it about in your hands it smells great yeah it does doesn't it does it, it yeah. smells He's right. They're it nice. smells great. Hmm. Suppose. And you know, I, one of the things I re one of the reasons I really like this, and I know you don't want to hear stories about person, personal hygiene from anybody, <laughs> but um, one of the reasons I really like this is I am a flannel man. I like hmm. a flannel. Yeah. Um, particularly if you just have a quick face wash or whatever, but in the shower as well. Yeah. And the problem with flannels, uh, unfortunately, is particularly if you if you have a shower, and if you're a shower, flannel shower, you know this, and you hang it up in the shower. Uh, and then my wife, who doesn't use it, she uses the shower, and then it gets wet again. Yeah. And it means you have to wash it continuously. Yeah, you do. Because if you don't, it starts to go a they funny go colour. And, and what I mean is, if yeah. you if you use it in the sink and you hang it to dry, yeah. you don't have to wash it quite so frequently. No. So they're an absolute pain, but I like yeah. them. I don't need one with this, no, do I? you don't. And if you, when you've finished with it, so you've had your shower, just, just squeeze it out, squeeze the water out, Put it on a um, one of those slotted soap dishes, yeah. and then it will dry. And it will dry. Yeah, and it will dry just like that. A bit of Tommy Cooper. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Tommy Cooper. So I've Except taken my, wrong. <laughs> I've taken mine out and just gently, just gently rubbed any of the creases out. Put it back in. I can wrap this a little bit snugger now. I really like this colour you've given me as well because it's look it's like a sort of a go faster stripe. Yeah. It's a blokey one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So I can wrap mine up a little bit tighter now because it's started to shrink. This wool has worked brilliantly. It's, I wish I could f remember where I got it from but I can't. One of did those. you get it on the website? My, mm, no, I don't think oh. I did. No chance then. No. But it will be in the kits. Oh, it'll be in the kit. Yeah, it'll be in the kits. So you can get it, but she can't. So mine has started to to firm up a little bit now. So I like to use the end of my bit of net to rub yeah. through the net, which will help it to complete even more. That was genius. Clever, isn't it? Who came up with this idea? I'd like to say it was me, but it wasn't. But we know it'd be a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm being I'm being quite a bit more vigorous with mine now. Mine's started to. This is something you can do with the kids as well, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. As long as your water's not too hot for the kids. Decorate their own. Yeah. Definitely. How do I? Is, is it still, still a bit loose, mine, at the moment? Yeah. Right? So unwrap it. Okay. Just unwrap it gently. Oh. Still upside down. Yeah. So can you see? You've got a bit of a crease in yours, yeah. Ben. Yeah. Okay. So just give it, just give it a gentle smoosh. Okay. That's a real word, isn't it? Smoosh. Mm -hmm. It is now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Look. That's fine. Is that all right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So put it back in your. So you're literally just massaging the shape. Yeah, because because once we've uh, it, obviously when we lay these fibres on, yes. they are all all separate. Yes. Um, once we dunk it in the water, it's like anything. It's like when you wash your hair; yeah. they all want to part. Yes. Um, yes. So they will just fall apart if you don't hold on to it. Yeah. Um, or um, treat it gently to start with; they'll yeah. fall apart. So. Wrap it, really back, nice. wrap it back up in your. But look at look, look at me. Um, me go past the straws. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's looking good. And it is looking good. So I'm going to just unwrap mine. Have another little look. Now it's still it's still a little bit loose. Can you see? It's still the fibres are still moving about. So that's not ready yet. Okay. So wrapping it in there again. Yeah. And keep wringing it out. Keep. Yeah. Keep working so it. So put it back in your put it back in oh, your net. I'll put it back yeah, in the net. Want, yeah, yeah. Make keep sure it's it in, in your net because that will keep it all together it while I'm working yeah. it. It will. That's genius. Isn't it? So 
Okay. I've got to be honest, when I arrived here today, I didn't think my hands were going to be quite so clean when I left. <laughs> this is great. So, oh, I've got something to show you. Yeah. Just while you're doing that. Yeah. It's the trust you. <laughs> I've got that. one here. Oh, we've got a tap, oh. Yeah. That's all right. Okay. Uh, what we're doing. This is what I want. Because it's uh, at this point, usually in the show, that we show um, a workshop. But I've got something else that I thought you might like. I've saved this for you. Oh, really? Do you remember we needle fel felted Cyril the sheep? Yes. Very popular he was too. Yeah. In fact, so you've got a kit for him on the website, haven't you? Uh, I have. Yeah. So, Cyril the sheep. Um, well, after we did the needle felt of Cyril the sheep, a few people sent in some sheep needle felt creations. Oh, really? So I'm show you. So this one here is from Claire Hart. Oh. He's got like a little, looks like a teddy boy. Yeah, it does. I was just about to say. He's got a bit of a uh, so that's Claire Hart. Bit of an Elvis. Uh, and then we've got, look at this one. This is from Sarah Brown. Oh. He's got really curly hair. Oh, he's lovely. We like him. We like him. And then look at this one. Julie Harding, I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're just like cotton wool balls. <laughs> you cheek. They're still, Sneak, uh, they're on a bit of, nice bit of grass there though. So thank you for all of those. That brightened my day a bit when yeah. I saw those. I, thought you <laughs> I like those. It. It's nice to see that people have, have, have watched the tutorial and then gone away and made something. They've that's, gone away and made that's it. Nice. That's yeah, what it's like supposed that. to be about. That's what yeah. craft show's about. Yeah. It being uh, uh, creative and sharing, and oh, that's starting to adhere now. My stripe, yeah, it does take a little while. So, I've been continuing. How are we doing for time? How are we doing for time, Steve? Another seven minutes. <gasps> seven minutes. So, can you see it's still slightly loose, yeah. but they are no longer. Um, Coming apart, so I can the... dunk that in here now, yeah. look, and it's it's holding itself together. Yeah. So, do you think I... it's better rather than to just go in one direction? I mean, I'm going all over there yeah. to help tangle the fibres. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to give it one more. I'm going to wrap mine really, really tight in my bit of net now. Yeah. So I'm really. You can see that's really, really tight. Tightly. Yeah, really yeah. pulling that really tight. Okay. I'm going to give it one more dunk in hot water, which isn't quite so hot anymore. And then what we're going to do now, once it's really starting to hold together, is we're going to. So I was a bit worried about being rough with it, but actually, as it starts to, you know. Yeah, you really can give it some. So once it's at the point mine is, which is really firm, I would probably replace this water with some hotter. Yeah, okay. Um, so it was hot again. Why is, the, why is the hot water more beneficial? Is it like the cold water sets it? it yeah, what we, the, if you think that the hot water, uh, on any wet felting, the, 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 the hot water opens up the fibres, okay. or opens up the scales on the fibres. Okay. The, the rubbing uh, interlocks them. Okay. And then what we're going to do then is dunk it into the cold water, which shocks them to 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 firm up. Okay. So, but just after one dunk in the cold, it's a bit like when you make. Um, you can see that that is when you're cooking, and you make properly. pasta, and you want to make pasta salad, and you take it out of the pan, and you immediately dunk it into cold water. It stops the cooking yep. process. I mean, it's the same kind of. Principle. This is shocking the fibres into um, constricting, if you like, and then they they mat up. Look at that. Now my, my little curl hasn't adhered to the top quite as well as I'd hoped, but... It's coming on though, isn't it? It's coming on. Oh, it's all going on my trousers now. I like it. And don't forget, of course, um, we always give something away on the show. What are we going to give away today? We're going to give away your Maybe soap. soap. Give yeah. away your soap. Yeah. Do you want to give my, away my soap? Yeah. No, you're not. I'm having mine. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to chuck your flannel in the bin when you get home. Yeah, it's gone. See ya. Going to have flannel. to keep, keep, you, keep you stocked up with felted soaps now. Yeah. So, that. Can I borrow that pink towel that I, I loaned you? Yes. You when, you've, when you've finished, 
you How can... tight will that get? Because I mean, I've still got a bit. Because presumably, the more so, you oh, yours is tighter than mine. Yeah. But because you've been working it a lot more. Yeah. I've, the I've more done. you lather it, the more soap you use. Yeah. You're getting rid of the soap though, aren't you? You are. So you've yeah. Got to be careful. But um, yours, is, yeah, yours is really coming together. But yours has been in the white, in the water cold now. It as is. Well. You could probably, we could probably do with a bit more hot. Um, Banner, I'd I'd done most of mine before um, that water had cooled down too much. Okay. Um, it's probably Chocolate a little bit cool. Dunking there. So Ooh, squeeze so it out. Cool. Do you know what? You can almost feel that contracting. Yeah, you can. When can't you, you put it in. Yeah. Give it a squeeze in a clean towel. Look at that. Mine's a bit looser than yours. Mine needs a bit more work. But look at that. Yeah, but it's it's worked. Look at that. And then as it dries out, does it contract more? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Um, this one's, I've dunked it in here again, but it, yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit firmer. I like it. But it, it might, for the first few uses, it might loosen up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it won't come apart anymore because no. they've they felt it together. So for the first few uses, and it's about a bit it practice, might loosen up a bit. Yeah, it's it is. the first time yeah. I've done that. Yeah. I'm really pleased with that. Um, now, um, of course, if you would like to win the uh, needle felted soap, I'm just wondering whether to give mine or I suppose I should really. <sighs> if you want to win both the needle felted soaps, <laughs> I've got, not Wet got any choice. Felted. Wet felted. Wet felted soaps. He's so used trouble. to the needle felt, tonight. If you? you want to win both the wet felt, we'll give one away to two people, shall we? Okay, yeah, that's Are a good idea. you happy with that? Yeah. So two people can win that. a wet felted soap. Uh, Alison's is the one you want to win, really, because it's <laughs> slightly better than mine. But um, we will do that. All you've got to do, as usual, is to share the Facebook page. Please remember to share the Facebook page. Um, and share it amongst your friends and get them to like it as well. That's really important. It is. And uh, if you want to get one of the kits, have a look on Alison's website, thecraftcentreborn.com. Com. Yeah. Yeah, dot com. Dot com. Yeah, so you can have a look on there. She's got the kit. Or you can just buy the items separately from wherever. But yeah, it's, uh, it, it's a good place to uh, to yeah. go. Let's line mine up over there as well. Yeah. Good job. And um, we've got a couple of minutes left, which gives me the opportunity actually just to remind everybody, which is something I mentioned at the very beginning of the show, about the different um, sources of social media that the craft show now, now has. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like to follow us on some of the other uh, social media platforms, I'm just going to quickly tell you what they are because we're on YouTube, of course, yep. which is youtube.com forward slash the craft show TV. Uh, we're on Facebook, of course, facebook.com forward slash the craft show TV as well. Yep. But we're also on Instagram. So have a look on Instagram. Uh, we're also on Twitter. Just search for The Craft Show on both of those. Mm -hmm. And we have a blog, Alison. We have a blog. Do you? Yeah, we do. We do. Uh, which is called The Craft Show, Crafty Bloggers. Dot blogspot. So please do have a look, and we've got several, uh, I think we have five uh, Craft Show team bloggers now mm -hmm. adding posts to the, uh, to the blog sort of everybody's doing once a week i think so okay. so sort of almost every day there's a, there's a fresh blog yep. go and check it out yeah do go and check it out yeah. well do you know what it's come to that time again we're gonna it have has. to call it a day yeah i've really enjoyed that yeah i've never smelled so fresh no my hands have never been so clean super clean and i've never been quite this wet <laughs> <laughs> so until next time we'll see you later Bye. bye